back in the day when you know you used to go to a mall or whatever the the logo valley mall in altoona they would always have a display and that's going back years mm, way many before years. you yeah and so yeah, he's just a he's just a young kid I know. guys we're back here in this project in spring mills that ben and i did last year and i'm telling you the creeping jenny and moss around this biofalls and uh first top waterfalls is absolutely gorgeous nothing makes a water feature look better than plants crawling down over the the uh, waterfall like that right there we kind of kid around and say that plants and moss are nature's makeup it takes all your boulder work which looks maybe cold and harsh by itself and softens all the cracks and crevices up and just makes it look so naturalized and woodsy. Love it. And I love ferns like this. Ferns just, just I love building water features in the woods. Just look at this water quality, crystal clear water. See every little pebble down on the bottom. See the fish swimming around down in there. Plants look like they're doing amazing. This pond is on our premier care maintenance package, which just uh, we come by every two weeks and we check on the dosing system, the autofill, the lights, just make everything, make sure everything is humming along beautifully. Trim back the plants and stuff, put the leaf nets on. Actually, in fact, it's fall here now, and the guys are gonna be swinging in here as soon as we're done blogging this pond to, uh, put the leaf net on. But this is a classic, you know, we do a lot of rebuilds at Tussie Landscaping. And basically rebuilds are what causes a rebuild is usually maybe somebody that was getting their feet wet in the hobby, like a homeowner that did a DIY project or a contractor that did something they don't normally do, like water features. Like in this case, I believe it was a home building contractor that built the home that also built the water feature. And water features are one of those things that you just gotta have a little bit of a experience or learning done before you can really do them well in a low maintenance manner. Like Anybody can build a water feature, but it might not be low maintenance and it might not be a pleasurable experience to own it. And so a lot of the rebuilds we do are a result of that happening. And then we come in, pull it all out, put in the Aquascape system with the Aquascape products, use all of our years and years of experience to just design and build these water features towards two ends, two goals. And that is to be as low maintenance and easy to take care of as possible and to be as creatively and artistically beautiful as possible. And that's the most fun in my book. Like I just love of waterfalls like that that have all that depth with water falling behind that rock kicking around that point coming down over there again like that kind of interest and in, uh, action is something that us guys at the Tussie crew love to get creative with I love that boiling water down there as it goes over that rock and it hits the rock right right in front of it and just boils up right in there and I also like when waterfalls twist and turn so like in this example the uh, water's running this way and then it runs into this boulder and it kicks this way back toward the patio for optimal viewing. So even though the water is running that way, when it runs into that boulder, it kicks this way and gives you a beautiful view of the waterfall from back here on the patio. And down here on this end, we had to put this boulder wall in so that we could uh, get the elevation we needed because we wanted to face the waterfall this way. So we're faced it this way, but then we had to run the water that direction because that was the space we had to go toward. We couldn't come any further this way toward me where I'm standing with the camera. And so uh, we built it over here. That's where we built the pond with a nice stepping border there where the water is full depth right there off the edge and come in and feed the fish. But living the aqua state lifestyle is, should be a pleasurable, enjoyable experience. It gives you many, many hours and evenings and nights of enjoyment out there on the patio by the pond. And if you uh, have a water feature that you have a love-hate relationship with, you love the idea of having water, but you hate the system or the maintenance or the things you gotta do with it, I would definitely recommend that you take a look at what system you have and just make sure that it's designed properly, like the Aquascape system, 
for optimal maintenance free design. And sometimes people will rip out a water feature and rebuild it just because they want to make it look nicer and better by uh, someone that has more experience. And that, you know, that happens too. But water features are absolutely the jewel of the backyard. Like this is where you congregate out here on the patio, but this is where you sit for hours and enjoy just the peaceful atmosphere. So there's a rundown of uh, this water feature. It was a lot of fun to build. Ben and I had a fantastic time. We did a great job on the pond. Like we came in, we did like our time, we met our time, we exceeded our timelines on completing the pond, but we <laughs> ran way past our timeline by a couple days doing that natural stone wall up there. That was tough. It was just tight access and just a tough build. But overall, we uh, came in pretty much on timeline over the job as a whole wall and pond included, so we made up for it in the pond. But uh, Greg, this is Greg Westside, the pond guy. One year old, yep. amazing. And the frustrating that part that I told, was talking to Weston about was so many people want to live the aquascape lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They think they want a water feature, they're not really sure. And a person who's not really competent at it creates it for them, mm -hmm. and then they get a bad experience. Yep. We don't want people having a bad experiences which is why I'm out here showcasing what my best customers do. They take me to their best customers mm -hmm. and uh, properly built water feature, a low maintenance, beautiful ecosystem water feature. And the reason you're a certified aquascape contractor is because you're committed to Ponds Done Right customer service. Yeah, that's and, and this is a spectacular setting oh, out here. It completely beautiful. changes the environment. What an incredible environment. And they got it right the second time. It's always cheaper to build it right the first time than the second time. Yeah. And it's frustrating for us it as is. builders coming in and someone's had a bad experience with our passion, which is decorative water features. Yeah, and this is this is the unfortunate part is it's not everybody has the budget to do it twice, right? Yeah. Some people go blow their budget on the first one and get, end up with a bad experience, bad product, and it's almost like fill it in. Yeah. But, uh, Fortunately, for those that uh, can take a second crack at it, mm -hmm. you can learn from your experiences and end up with something that you enjoy for decades. Good job. Thanks, Greg. If you subscribe to our channel, you can expect to see a lot of videos of us building water features like this. So I'm showing you a water feature that's grown in nicely, nicely matured plants and everything. But if you wanna see the construction process of this going together with the machines and the boulders and the dirt and the dust and the products like this underneath here, underneath this fake rock lid, there's all the products working beautifully. If you want to see all that happening in real life as we build it and the thought processes that are going through our mind as we're creating these streams, just subscribe to our channel or our Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram for shorter content. Hopefully you enjoy watching this stuff together. <laughs> Check this out. What are you doing, Greg? Getting an underwater video. <laughs> When you call Tussie, mm -hmm. it necessarily wasn't where it was just for a landscaping. No, well, no, it was. Oh. oh, it was always a water feature. Okay, so how did that come about? Because it's not something normally people, you know, say, I want a water feature. Well, <laughs> first of all, you're blessed with a slope that faces oh. the back of your house. Yes. Well, blessed, you, that's one good thing it's for. We, we had always known about Tussie for the longest time. Back in the day when, you know, you used to go to a mall or whatever, the, the Logo Valley Mall in Altoona, they would always have a display. And that's going back years, mm, way many before years. you. Yeah. And so... Yeah, he's, just a, he's just a young kid. I know. They were all young kids, but they loved what they do, and that was so much fun. Amen. Oh my gosh. We seen it, uh, and all, we would always say, boy, wouldn't that be nice? You know, and, and we'd stop like at one of the local uh, grocery stores out there, Martin's, and they have a display, a water display. So you've seen displays that kind of planted the seed. Yes, and so it's like, but no, we'd never do that. We can't do that. You know, we don't hire people. We would do the stuff ourselves, and no way could you do that yourself. And so this is something that you and your husband agreed on, yes. and you're equally enjoy it. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm guessing you're the gardener? Yeah. Ah, it's yeah. it's yeah. nice. For a first year water feature, it is spectacular. I love the color. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the mums. That's the mums. Well, yeah, you've I also got, what's the red? red? Nicolius. Nicolius, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I love Nicolius. So Tussie came out, and, and what was the process like for you? Derek came out, and it's, it's it was almost like, a, you know, we tried to explain what we wanted, because we do, you know, we thought we'd put something on over there. Uh-huh. And he said, no, 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 closer. Yeah, bring and it up close to the house. It's like, the perfect location. And I said, Even Derek okay. can get it right every once yeah. in a while. <laughs> and, and it was almost like a you don't know what you want I know what you want kind of a moment and it's like okay I are seen, the experts I know and, and we want what's best for the customer and I've seen enough 
of what you guys have done mm -hmm. to know that I think I vocalized well enough what we were looking for and I think they can do it. I will have a little input here and there, which we did. Uh huh. Uh, you know, what was truly because, important. Because, because it wasn't just the water feature, it was, no, the, patio, it was the patio, it was the, the steps. steps. Mm. Yes, and and just fitting it into, you know, what we wanted. And, oh, they were such a joy to work with. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Great and, team. And like I said, just, I, we, I couldn't visualize what he was trying to say. I just took Had it faith. on faith. Yes. Absolutely. And, faith. and I knew though that whatever they did, I would love. Yeah. It's just you knew and you knew that it was going to be done well. And it's and changed right. how you use your space. You're oh, outside. Oh, all the time. Yeah. We're out here every day. And so it was a good investment. Oh my goodness, it was the best investment ever. This has been the absolute best thing we've ever done. That's a good compliment. The absolute best thing you've ever done in 40 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is day one of our three-day vlogging trip. <laughs> what, this is the eighth stop today? Yes, that's correct. Okay, but we finished with, I would say, the best because we have so many ponds here. Yeah. And, and I am the pondless pond guy, not the pondless guy. <laughs> Although, fantastic work on the pondless water features today. But yes, it's super joyful to be able to go out and visit happy customers, yep. see beautiful water features on a great, you know, perfect day. perfect day out here, especially with the, with the lack of sun, but a nice, cool day out here in the fall. And uh, this is why I love to say I love my job because I get to visit my best customers and take me to their best customers and vlog it all for showcasing how people live the Aquacade lifestyle. So I got a question for you. Yeah. You go all over the country, all over the world, doing this stuff, vlogging these. Well, I used pictures. to go all over the world, but I've been kind of like yeah. grounded with COVID. But yes, yes. Your question. So the question is, what would you say to the customers in our local market that find us? Because you see, your perspective is worldwide yes. when it comes to come when it comes to water features. What would you want to tell a local customer? Yep about Tuscan landscape. Obviously you can see the quality in the work, but what you don't necessarily see by viewing the projects only is the team that builds them. I would say of all of the teams that I've logged all over the world, the Tussie team is, I would think, the strongest top to bottom. Phenomenal organization. Steve with the owner, you know, Matt with the owner, starts with them, but their leadership that they have and the group of people, just salt of the earth people. So I would say what stands out besides the fact that you're a 2017 Aquascape Artist of the Year out of 100 plus thousand customers, you know, only 11 have been Artists of the Year, Tussie's one of them, but it's the team behind it that I think is the most impressive thing. Salt of the earth guys, salt of the earth people, phenomenal ownership, and so it's the team I would say. Well, I appreciate that because like we have this small YouTube channel, right? And yeah. I just want our customers to be able to like hear it from a guy that hears it, that sees water features from all over the world. And meets people from all over the world. Exactly. And I would say as, as, as quality of a team as exists in the entire industry, Tussie. And I just want to shout out to you, thank you, and encourage you guys to go follow Greg on his Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Right there you go, that's the name of the channel. <laughs> just because like, it's because of the support of Aquascape and the heart and passion of soul that Greg pours into the company, into his customers, that enables us to advance and grow and do these kinds of things, and eventually, ultimately, deliver these kinds of experiences right to you guys in your backyards. Amen. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Greg. Everybody, support. everybody wants a water feature, they just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Give us a, a thumbs up on this video if you've enjoyed this content. If you wanna see these projects that we've been visiting all day, happening in real time construction, subscribe to your channel. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Cheers, welcome to the Tusky family.